Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if your NAS drive is not visible on your network on your Windows 10 computer. So this should be hopefully a pretty straightforward tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. So the first thing I'd recommend doing would be to open up the start menu, type in network, and one of the best managers should say network proxy settings. You want to left click on that. Scroll down this list, left click on status up at the top, right here, and then you want to left click on change adapter options right down here. Whatever your adapters you're using, some people will be using an Ethernet connection, it really depends on what kind of computer you're using, and if you're using wireless or a wired connection to connect to the internet. You want to right click on it and then left click on properties. You want to go and left click on the Internet Protocol version 4 down here, TCP slash IPv4. Left click on the configure option right here. Left click on the properties button right here. You want to make sure it's set to obtain the IP address automatically and the DNS server address automatically as well. Click on OK just to ensure that. If you are set to anything else, you want to turn it off. So we can close out of here. And back on this screen here that we were on before, you want to go down and left click on sharing options for the networks you connect to decide what you want to share. Left click on that. You want to expand the private view up here by left clicking the little arrow drop down next to it. You want to make sure network discovery is turned on and automatic setup of network connected devices is checked right here. Again, you want to make sure that both of these are selected. If it's said to turn off network discovery, you want to turn them on. And once you've done that, you want to click on Save Changes, but since it's already like that, I'm not going to have to change anything. And now I'm going to open up the Start menu and type in Programs and Features. And then underneath Settings, there should be an option to turn Windows Features on or off. You want to left click on that. So at this point, you want to scroll down. If you see anything that says SMB, you want to expand this view here. You want to make sure they're all checked. So you can see I don't have one of them checked. Again, we want to make sure all these SMBs are checked down here. And you can see on my screen they all are at this moment. Left click on OK. Okay, so at this point you want to left click on restart now. So restart your computer after making sure you've closed out of any open programs or applications you have on your computer. And hopefully this should resolve your issue. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.